Welcome to the Tome Jerks Podcast. I'm your host, Brian Gower, and with me today we got... Kyle McIntyre. Oh yeah, the K-Man. This guy. He's back in oh, action. Yeah. And we're good. Yeah, I think this is episode 240. Should we do Hell something? Yeah, dude. Almost 420, dude. I know. We should just got, get, <laughs> get high, just, dude. Just call it 420. Yeah. But, um... Anyways, Kyle, what's new in your world? What's shaking? What's grooving? What is good? Well, I mean, how does it feel to stare at a native Texan on paper now? Yeah. Not just like I'm here. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Squatting. Yeah, I'm not just squatting here. <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, yeah. soak it in. Okay. Yeah, I got go. my Texas driver's license. I didn't, didn't even know. I know. I didn't bit. even recognize you. <laughs> <laughs> whole new man Brian it's me I promise <laughs> oh my god <laughs> I mean Brian it's me I promise I promise um, I promise <laughs> so uh, yeah it's stupid let's do a dumbass bit um, only, only, but I've been here a fucking year Lone Star you know? beer <laughs> yeah I, it says here uh, on my ID I can only buy Lone Star sorry Lone Star uh, and Shiner yeah this is residual this Bud Light is I'm sorry officer no, that's Bud Light. You're allowed to Bud you're allowed Lizer. to drive drunk as long as you've dr- uh, had, you know, a couple uh, shiners. Yeah, you know, um, <laughs> they have that was it America no. beer or whatever from Budweiser with the. Oh yeah, before. I got one of those on Fourth of July. Wow, like, yeah, playing Feel good playing Nintendo Switch. I'm like, God, I love this beautiful country. <laughs> just, you're had, being like such a piece of shit I, I had to work that day so afterwards just <laughs> <Yeah>. get a, <laughs> a couple of shitty beers I'm like yes <laughs> yeah shitty beers man they're good yeah they're alright they, you have enough of them and they're good yeah I, you can just drink a obliterate. shit obliterate yeah <laughs> obliterate yourself I haven't done that like I'm like just to, just to drink like natural light or Miller light I haven't done that in a while just yeah, just drinking those. Yeah, those mm-hmm. are illegal to do, right? You're only supposed to have natty light when you're doing uh, like beer pong. Doing well, yeah. Remember we used to do the podcast. We had natural lights. Yeah, just, there was the 15 yeah. pack. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah. I think my the liquor store the the by my place in Keg- Kagan Bottle. It was, I think they were selling those for like seven bucks for the 15 pack. And I'm like, so we can get those <laughs> for podcasting. Like, dude, that, there's enough aluminum in there to get your money back. <laughs> exactly. I was like, I'm like, oh my God, that was the podcast beer for the first couple of years. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty good. Anyways, um, so you got your your license. Your, yeah. So I-, I Tex Max Slowly Kyle. but surely. Yeah. Expat. You said call me expat? No, oh, Tex Max. Expat Kyle. Tex Max. Expat Kyle. <laughs> Yeah. Expat means that you've left the country, like you're like <laughs> residing in another. You're an expatriate, right? <laughs> yeah. Bums ex expat from California. We, we had a, what, a drummer named Pat, and then once he left the band, we were expat. <laughs> <laughs> so um, yeah, it was a bit of a I mean, we got a bit of a story here, I guess, because it. I went to. They only take it by appointment. Wait, so I, I have like I, a, I, I was gonna ask you. Do the DMVs in Texas suck as much dick as the DMVs in California? Well, you're like actually hmm. they're better. Actually, <laughs> it's Texas, so they're better. Duh. You just um, lie to yourself. Actually, everything's <laughs> better here. Actually, no. Okay, the okay. weather Ooh. is you know actually Te- it'll toughen you up. <laughs> Weather's great. <laughs> you know, once you stop melting, it's fucking great. Yeah. Once all your skin's gone. There's nothing else to fucking melt. Because like you know, when you're outside for a while, <laughs> you just pass out. So you realize, I'm like, hey, I'm yeah. saving calories. When the a- <laughs> when the ambulance comes and picks you up, takes you to the AC filled hospital, it's great. It's super refreshing. <laughs> yeah. Only cost you eight grand for that uh, <laughs> that <laughs> right. ambulance trip. Yeah, it's great. Um, yeah. So I uh, I was like, oh, I've I've been like prepping. I've been getting my paperwork in order. I've been, because I've been reviewing the website. Every yeah. time I go there, it like makes you want to, it says like, uh, makes you want, it makes you. Makes you be like. Makes me, yeah. It be like, it really do be like that sometimes. <laughs> it do be um, like that. <laughs> it do be. Um, it it uh, has you do like a, like make an appointment. And I hadn't done that. I was just kind of reviewing the website. And I'm like, okay, well, I guess I'm ready. I have all my paperwork mm-hmm. in order. And so. Um, I went to make an appointment and at my, so I have like a 
DMV office, like specifically for I for driver's license, which mm-hmm. is kind of cool. They have like a separate one. Yeah. Just like 10 minutes away. Like it's really close. No, in, your, like in your town or whatever? In my town. Oh, that's yeah, perfect. There's going to be like, Yeah. <laughs> there's like 6,000 people in your town. It's still a four hour wait. <laughs> no, it was a four month out uh, wait. appointment. So that the, is the close bullshit. Up, you know, there's not know. enough people. It's like, what do you do? Two a I day. Know. I know. I and think then you don't process the pa- process the paperwork until yeah. like. Four well, you have weeks one later. dude, one dude fucking working there. Is probably more likely. There's one or two people working there. So I was like, shit. I had I took it. I was like, well, shit. I guess in four months I'll be I'll, my number's going to be up. I'll be able to go in <laughs> and not forget about it. <laughs> yeah. So it'll be like the day of, oh, shit, I got to <laughs> go in there. So spill spill I, coffee all over your TV. Oh, fuck, yeah. I got to go. <laughs> <laughs> all over. The, I have to. I got to spit it from like uh, 10 feet away. <laughs> it's um, like a spittoon. But <laughs> just, <yeah>. a spittoon. <laughs> just just into the where the circuit board is on the TV, just <laughs> right in there. You're um, looking at your phone, your alarm co- goes off, and he's like, <gasps> and you just spit it. <laughs> 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 All right, so so I, I I'm like okay, well let me schedule. I'm, I've been uh, sorry, I entered in a couple of different areas. Mm-hmm. That's how it, it you know it's oh well you could I was looking in Austin. I'm like okay, well those were three months out. I'm like okay, well shit. Okay, well hold on, let's see. And I I oh, entered in a town. A so no, I'd rather. Just- I entered in a, a town that was like thirty minutes south from here, and it gave me in like a radius, like another town that was farther outside of. Okay, so I entered. Yeah, sorry, yeah, hold yeah. on. Uh, anyways, it gave me a town that was outside of my area that I didn't see before, and it was a appointment for two o'clock that day. Uh-huh. And I was like, "This was, I think, uh, I can't. Was it Thursday or something? I did. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, it yeah. was last week, some point. So I'm like, "Well, shit. It's either today or in four months, yeah. or three, three or four months." I'm like, "Well, shit. Let me just get this done." So I got everything ready. Uh, you know, there was c- some concerns because in Texas, they make you want to, I said it again, they make you register your car at the same time that uh-huh. you get your driver's license. I'm like, I don't have, the, and then you had to get all this other shit in order on the cars. You have to have a state inspection. You have to have all this other shit. I'm like, no. Everything Let me just go, go and tell, tell them I don't know where my cars are. <laughs> you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah. Just fucking not really <laughs> lie to them. I'm like, I don't have that right now. So- I went in there. I okay. First of all, this place was like an hour and a half <laughs> drive from my house. So I know. Well, I know. I know. It's it just it's funny because you know I I live in San Diego, and people bitch about staying in the county. They're like, you know, uh, it's like I gotta go all the way to Vista. I'm like, yeah, <laughs> it's like thirty. Minutes, thirty you know, thirty five, you know, thirty five minutes. Yeah, and it's like, oh, that that's not San Diego. I'm like, it's San Diego County still. It's like, yeah, it's not in the city limits, yeah, so to say. But it's not like downtown San Diego, which to me, I would bitch more about going to downtown San Diego than fucking going to Vista. By the way, which people who aren't from San Diego, moving on, moving on. But still, it's like, <laughs> you know. But the thing is, from being in San Diego, I understand because I'm like sometimes for me, I'm like, all right, going to La Mesa. Went to La Mesa for cutting in for a haircut, by the way. Yeah. But I'm like, well, since I'm going to be out that way, might as well stop by the Guitar Center. <laughs> <laughs> might as well get my shit. Yeah, and might as well get some strings. Might as well. And you know, I was going to look for some picks, but they didn't have <laughs> any, any like triangle picks that I wanted to try out. Oh uh, that. God. Fuck it, it was Bastards. Just desolate. <laughs> this town's fucking desolate. They had dude. this little like Roland section, like Roland Boss section. They had oh. like this like video on repeat of like the MS3. So it was uh, oh. with uh, Joe Branton's band. Yeah. <laughs> and okay. So I took a, like all these like big TVs of Joe Branton <laughs> talking. I'm like, <laughs> you know, uh, Joe Branton from Guitar Nerds, his band to help with the launch of like the MS3 guitar switcher thing, pedal switcher. And I'm like, this That's cool. fucking nerd. <laughs> <He's> like, <laughs> like I'm <laughs> ogre nerds. <laughs> I crush beer over my head and somebody's just like, I'm just staring at a TV. 
<laughs> a little a little TV that's like three by five. No, no, no. They had like you know some big, a couple like you know oh know, big like, screens, you know, 40, flat screens, forty eight inch TVs oh. or whatever. Damn, dude. Old uh, international fame right there. Bo Banton on there. <laughs> Should start a podcast and talk <laughs> I, about I was that. Just, I thought it was funny because I'm like, what? What the hell is Joe Branton doing on the TV in La Mesa <laughs> at the Guitar Center? What the fuck? Um, <laughs> He's like, oh, this is a real, real fucking cracky switcher over here. <laughs> all right, all right. We, sorry, he doesn't listen to our show, so it's fine. <laughs> he's, he's cool. He's a real-ass dude, though. Yeah. <laughs> um. So, anyways, I drove quite a bit. I drove yeah. <laughs> it's, it's a Which long is, way. I mean, I guess for you, I, I guess in Texas. It's te- what you Texas, do in Texas, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so we wanted to play. I basically, mini golf made the appointment. And took us like eight I mean, hours. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, I went to this town called Bernie. Yeah. Spelled B O E R N E. It's like born. It looks like it looks like it's born, but it's Bernie. So, which isn't important to the story. But I drove down there, Bernie. Um, yeah, yeah. and I it's like Ernie, Bernie. Yeah. Bert and Ernie, um, yeah. drove down there and I was there, I got there like an hour early cause I was like, I'm eager to get a new driver's license, please. Kinda. I mean, yeah. I mean, I was just kind of like, well, if they take me early, whatever. I think I got there. I was actually earlier than that. It was like 1250 is when I walked in the door and I started filling out the paperwork. Like I brought, I printed out my own form and everything. So I was super prepared. Yeah. Started writing everything out. And there wasn't that many people in the building. And this, you know, lady approached me. She's like, oh, do you have an appointment? I'm like, oh, yeah, it's for 2 o'clock. So what's it for? Oh, it's for whatever. She's like, oh, I'll take you right now. I'm like, oh, shit. Hell okay. Yeah. Well, so uh, did everything, filed all my shit. I had all my paperwork ready. And ev- like I had my mm-hmm. social security. I had my, my birth certificate. Had all this stuff, which I've never, I mean, you if you know me, what? I've and never the, been prepared for anything is, in my like, whole probably, fucking life. You probably know your social security off the top of your head right now. You could probably recite it right now, right? Yeah. Yeah. So on the podcast. <laughs> 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 you probably know your credit card number and the CVV and expir- expiration oh, date. I right? got those too. Hold <laughs> on. Oh, <wait. laughs> in fact, I, I got better. I got a picture for you. Oh, I got it right in front of me. Like, well, you, back you know, in front. I bet you can't recite your whole social security, Kyle. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> I bet you don't know your mother's main name. Oh, oh yeah? yeah? <laughs> you think so, you stupid fuck? You think I'm an I bet idiot? You, I bet you feel real. I bet you feel this fucking big right now, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> Prove me wrong, huh? <laughs> <laughs> bet you don't know my favorite car color either, or when I first started driving. Um, oh, we're at Gret- what, what other... <laughs> Security question. <laughs> <Yeah>. Your <laughs> school, the first school you attended. Yeah, or your or dog's name. High school, you graduated. Yeah, I bet pets pe- names. Most people don't know. Remember their pet's first name. <laughs> Every time, drop I've, it right in the comments. I, I feel I've seen less of those, but it was always a uh, budget pedal chap. He was he would always comment and be like, "Oh yeah, stop." <laughs> no, he would always yeah. comment like, "Oh yeah, my favorite card color is uh, password one two three username one two three. Like it's like Jesus, who is and people thousands and like tens of thousands of people answered. He's like, these are security questions, you fucking you slag. <laughs> <laughs> anyways, uh, so anyways, I was in and out within like maybe twelve or fifteen minutes. Mm-hmm. Had everything done. Boom. Had to surrender my California driver's license, which I just, you know. <laughs> just extend, you know, I, it was every four years or something. Yeah. They make you do every five years or whatever. It depends on like your age, I think. But um, yeah, I had just got a new one like last year. Yeah. So I had like, tw- uh, was it 2026 was one that was going to expire. Okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, all right, I just paid whatever the hundred, whatever it is for it. Uh-huh. And then here you go. That's fine. Whatever. But Still got my motorcycle classification on it, which is nice because that was kind of a pain in the ass to get. Yeah. And um, yeah, I have a temporary, like I have a piece of paper that says like who I am. Yeah. Which feels great. Oh, uh, you have ID? Yeah. Let me just fucking, <laughs> hold on. I got this pa- page. Prote- I, it's literally like freaking like 11 by, you know, whatever that is. Well, 10 by f- whatever. Could you buy by alcohol seven. with that? Yeah. 
Do I? <laughs> I can buy a fucking gun with that. <laughs> so yeah. yes, I should be able to buy alcohol too. Because <laughs> I asked the guy, I was at a gun shop. I'm like, do you guys? Would you uh, take a temporary license? He's like, hell yeah, yeah we course. would. It's your driver's license, dude. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> It's great, man. <laughs> the fucking, the You're fucking, looking at this one? The tiles are coming off the fucking yeah. ceilings. <laughs> the drop the ceilings drops. exploding yeah, with bah, 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 insulation. Bah. You know what spaghetti Hell you yeah, can dude. fit? He's like slaps the gun. You know what spaghetti you can fit in this thing? <laughs> He just shoves his lunch. He just like pops open a Ziploc thing and just shoves it in there. <laughs> shoves it in the magazine. You know what fucking spaghetti? <laughs> uh, he, but he only says that because he's a salesman. This is a large capacity spaghetti magazine. <laughs> I'm par- like partially at my job. I work on like in sales or whatever, and I've. Yet to have the confidence, but I'm like, one day I'm going to like go to like a sofa and to somebody like, or like a dining table. I'm like, you know what spaghetti you can fit on? <laughs> Slap it. <laughs> I, the dining table would be less funny because people wouldn't get the joke. It would just be me like, oh, I'm going to tell this on the podcast. They like slap the t- the table. You know what spaghetti you can fit on this thing? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Damn. Anyways. Anyway, so drove, like I said. Pretty far to, but it it worked out because yeah, it was to like the Victor go the spoils. Yeah, you got your, you know it worked out because I would have had to wait four fucking months. Yeah, or that one that was like, you know, two you know that fucking day. I was like, well, and I looked well, like I th- they had an arrow you like, on the on the box. Like you could, there was no other areas you could schedule. Yeah. That was the only day that was available. I'm like today at two o'clock, and I was doing this at like ten in the morning. I'm like, yeah. well, yeah, let's go do it. Yeah. Let's go let's go try. Let's 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 roll. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, anyways, worked out, got my driver's license. Yeah. You know, haven't haven't had to use it actually. So yeah. that's cool. Mm-hmm. But anyways, uh other things in new in my life. I uh did some upgrades. Upgrade. Upgrade. <laughs> in the in the jerk was it jer- was it we call this jerk east? Or jerk, jerk south? Uh, jerk central East. Southeast? No. No, Jerk Central, Dirty South. <laughs> it's like barely south. It's like, if you look at a map, it's not east or west. It's like yeah. literally in the middle. The, like when I, yeah. Like when I, when I used to play video games in California, it would only give me like one area that I could, or you could select, right? Other areas, regions to play in. Let's say with, with Rocket League, you could say, oh, I want to play in this region of, of the world. Yeah. It's not a good idea because your internet connection sucks, but you can have it like, oh, I'm playing US West. Yeah. So it just put you like with everyone on the West Coast of the US. For me, mm-hmm. it gives me two options. It gives me the East or the West. Yeah. So Gotta West go. seems to work out better <laughs> still here because it's like better connection. It's I don't like know. Or the, maybe East Coast like sucks. The Sponge, SpongeBob meme where your eyes are both ways and you're like, <laughs> 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 I don't know which way to go. <laughs> which way? Yeah. Because they talk which about like Midwest. Go? Which way did you go? Yeah, I don't get how they named you know the regions of of the U.S. God, like, what's the deal with the Midwest names? Because I just think you know, mid. Yeah, if you're talking about this Kansas, wrong. that's pretty. Measure fucking, from one spot to the other. It's pretty fucking mid. That's what the Kansas City. Are. Why are there two of them? <laughs> More like Kansas <laughs> shitty. Blah, 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 Ooh, blah. I've never, <laughs> never been there. No, but there are two Kansas cities, dude. Okay, I know. I know they are next to each other. It's Kansas City, Kansas. People are just like woo, 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 woo. Kansas City, Missouri. Boo. Boo. <laughs> <laughs> they have two mayors. It's like why didn't you just fucking name it differently? Yeah, it's you like, know. Yeah. I mean, you, <laughs> why have one mayor when you can have two? It's pretty cool, right? Yeah, I guess. And what if they're fighting? Then, you know, it's kind of weird. Well, then you ask the other mayor. I'm like, hey, this mayor said <laughs> yeah, that, right. I could, that I could go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what did the other mayor say? Oh, they said I could. Oh, okay, then you can. Perfect. <laughs> you just lie to one mayor and tell the other one. <laughs> yeah, that's what you do. Yeah. What happens when you move to the other, like, you move across the state line? Like, what, mm-hmm. what does the other mayor get jealous? <laughs> like are they like they buy you a gift and then they buy you a better gift and they buy you another well, and, and they're then, like and well then, who's where do you spend Christmas yeah, exactly you, know? you got to go there from the, every other weekend yeah Thanksgiving you know you 
<laughs> Who has custody over you? You know, I don't get it. I don't know. I have. This is so stupid. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I have, like friends, why? Why do they do that? Friends I just don't growing up that like God. had you know their parents were divorced or whatever. <laughs> And I'm like, man, that sounds sick. You get two Christmases? You got two? <laughs> that, that's what you're worried about. Not the emotional damage. No. <laughs> like, yeah. Uh, All the I, bullshit I, that comes with divorced parents. You're like, oh, fuck, broken home? Damn, this sounds sick. I think of like my, my, my parents. Like, the reason why they stay together is because they have like a man child. It's like, <laughs> we got to stay together for the kids. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. So, you know, what are we talking so anyways. about? I was talking about upgrades I did. Oh, to the room, the, to the room, the studio. Yeah. So I guess I'll do a little pivot in here. To the fucking so I stew. Added, I added the shelf here. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's like the, it's my ceiling light. Which so is you can cool. probably, maybe you don't oh. see the one that's over to your left. So our, our right. That's, that's pretty sweet. That's been there for a while, but the one yeah. above your window. This is, this is, this has been here. Mm-hmm. This one I just added. Um, just the you know a couple of days ago. So, so for the it's, audio, we'll, we'll listeners. see how we'll see how it works out because it's it's really. I mean, I had it in the garage. Mm-hmm. Um, it's it's okay. It's pipe, right? So it's like the black pipe with the, the a gas pipe, yeah, stained. You know, similar to what this one is here, but um, I made this one myself. Mm-hmm. It's like way more expensive to do it yourself, by the way, than just to buy it in like. Well, actually, okay, I made this one myself too, but this shelf was like way cheaper buying it as fake pipe and shelving mm-hmm. than building this one. Pretty sure. Yeah. When you price out everything. But, hold on, my monitor just cut out. That's cool. I don't know why that happened. All right. But, anyways, so, um, it should be kicking back on here soon. Yeah. Well, I'm still seeing you. You're good. Okay. So, the, um. The shelf that you have over the window, it's pretty fucking big. Isn't it like what? It's huge. Four it's like feet? six. It's six feet. I cut it okay. down actually, so it wouldn't look so weird. And so, like the guitar that's over here, mm-hmm. um, was right up against where the uh, right where the base of that is. So it's pretty much six feet. There's only like a uh, I don't know, maybe a qu- quarter inch between the mount for the guitar, which you know it might not it might not stay there, mm-hmm. but um. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah. So I, 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 I like it. I just don't know what I'm going to put on it. Yeah. So, so from what I've seen, so it's like <laughs> what, six, five to six feet wide and like what, like a foot and a half deep? Um. Yeah. Let's say, well, let's say 12. Let's just yeah. say 12 so, inches yeah, deep. Yeah, a foot deep. So that's a pretty big fucking shelf. And then from what I've seen, I'm like, I, I am, <laughs> I, I'm all about it. I love the idea of getting shelves shit organized. And storage <laughs> and shit. And, I don't know, getting it up, yeah, and away and stored, like um, I think, <laughs> I, I don't. It was funny because it was it was around the same time, probably, probably earlier in the year, maybe. Um, I bought like a little, like I think fourteen inch by fourteen inch milk crate just for storage of things. Yeah, because I was at Home <laughs> Depot. I'm like, oh, this is great. I'm like, keep this it cause is it, sick because it fits perfectly on a shelf that I have in my my closet. I got nothing to put in there, and it was the same week that you bought, like an apple crate, which is about the same square thing. And you're like, <laughs> yeah. "I bought this out of I'm gonna put stuff in there," and I think you just threw a pedal in there. I'm like, "See, <laughs> I love the idea of storing <laughs> shit." So, and the yeah. thing is, I'm like, with the idea of that, I'm getting rid of more stuff. So I'm like, I still have that milk crate. And I'm like, I got nothing. <laughs> I got nothing to put in there, but I still like the idea of it. And keeping things organized. And anyway, so you got that shelf. I yeah think that's pretty rad. I was asking, like, what are you going to put up there? And I was thinking, I'm like, oh, just put all your pedal boxes up there. Yeah. So you get them out of the closet or off of that pedal shelf that you have. And, you know, keeping it. Um, I'm going to do some maintenance while you're, uh, uh, while you you're talking some, here. But yeah. You got, uh, your monitor and stuff. Yeah, it's still off. I'm just looking at a blank screen here. Oh, Hold shit. on. I think it's kicking back on. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. We're back. All right. It's All right. The, the, since I moved it, like the HDMI cable like wiggled out slightly. 
It's like, poop, poop. So, I'm just staring at like a blank screen. Like, <laughs> yeah, the, 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 the monitor's like, I don't, I don't know what to do. What like, do we do? I, I, I should just know. be fine. Like, I'm talking on the phone with someone. Like, I can't see them. But I'm like, <laughs> like oh, God, what am I doing? Well, I mean, I. <laughs> yeah, so you're saying I, I, move I, pedals, I, possibly? I move pedal boxes. So, yeah. over so there. some boxes up here, too. Yeah, just so they're out of the way. They're, I mean, they're not. I mean, just get them up because nobody's like looking like. Oh, I like the way you have that up there. <laughs> Is that a Shryman box? <laughs> wow, you must have be an asshole. You have to also understand too. You're probably one of the taller people, and like the taller percentile of people. And if anybody yeah. came into that room of yours, yeah, nobody's gonna be like, hmm. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> yes. No, no, break their neck. Yeah. Hey, man, you got any more pedals? <laughs> <laughs> Y'all got any games up here? Y'all got any, got yeah. any more games? Actually, you know what? So, Put a fucking monitor up there and just have a little, yeah. like, a game It's cube, really high. An Xbox station. One of your Xboxes yeah. hook up to that. So, I, mean, I guess the, the reason why... <laughs> the reason why I put it up so high is because it's this, this window is, you know... Yeah. It's literally, like, two inches above the window. I plan on putting a curtain up there. I'll probably do it before the next... Yeah episode or ne- before we do the next one but mm-hmm. i don't well, know you, you can't I, see. I have the curtain panels i just got to get um something up well i mean Sorry, above my saying? closet up here i have a little little tiny shelf that i have kind of um just for more display stuff yeah i have my some anime figures little spider-man the the waifus they're yeah yeah they're up there and to me, I'm like, oh, it's kind of cool to put them up there on display. And that's kind of, I was talking to you. That's what you were thinking about putting, like, I don't know, things on display, well, not just yeah. for storage. I didn't tell you, but I brought the Star Wars toys that you. Nice. So, like, the Star Wars toys you had in the the Jerk Lounge in San Diego. Yeah, there's the Boba the, Fett The, for the sure. currently abandoned Jerk Lounge. Yeah. Uh, 1.0. I got to go in there and I got to. <laughs> Speaking of uh, like like Star Wars, I got to go in there and scavenge like a uh, Ray. Yeah, like from Ray. Star Wars. <laughs> Star Wars. <laughs> I got to go in there and just pull some booty out of there. <laughs> yeah, there's yeah, there's probably some good finds in there still. No, I I'm actually looking for I did, that fucking Wii, dude. I'm going. I, that's I did bring the Lego Star Wars uh, X Wing. So build it. Oh, build we should done. I should have left you, you know, half of it, and then. Uh, I sh- have have the other half, and we build it separately, and then we send it. No, away, but it doesn't no, make sense. Just... Then we meet halfway, like in Albuquerque, New Mexico. And we just go. We do a bunch of meth, just and then we put it together. Sh- <laughs> it just <connected>. breaks. <laughs> <laughs> it's broken by the time we get there. We open up whatever. Oh shit! Well, we could build it next time I go out there. I'm planning to come out there probably maybe October. Oh, that's no. news to me. I guess we'll make arrangements. Jesus. Well, I mean, Christ, I get. <laughs> <laughs> I have not bought a flight. <laughs> I've hey, not bought. Baby! <laughs> this fucking asshole <laughs> this wants to sleep on the floor again. again. <laughs> yeah, I want to get the floor sleep ready. On the floor. <laughs> <laughs> you have a bed. Get the floor ready. <laughs> like, what do you have to do to, to prep a floor? <laughs> Put garbage bags down. <laughs> He's probably gonna piss himself. <laughs> piss himself. <laughs> and just sweat, <laughs> sweat and <laughs> all over the carpet. <laughs> Put cardboard. You don't do that plastic. for you don't do that for the cats, but you do it for <laughs> your friend. <laughs> Card <laughs> cardboard down and <laughs> pl- just trash bags that you cut open and spread just out. Just like hefty black trash bags covering the floor. <laughs> the and contractor just- bags, <laughs> newspaper. <laughs> <laughs> He's probably gonna sweat and piss. He might even just throw up a little bit. <laughs> Why not? I mean, you know, you're here. When you're here, <laughs> your family. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> God, what were we talking about? Oh yeah, you're gonna put the Star Wars figures up there. <laughs> yeah. So I was gonna. I have like a a Star Wars figure. I don't know if I've showed. I think I've showed it to you guys, but it's like a, a tall figure. It's taller than the Boba Fett one, pretty mm-hmm. sure. Um, but it won't fit. It won't stand up. On the, what what, what other the, one? It's the ceiling. Because there's got a Bo- Boba Fett over there. I think. Did you have a? Uh... One second. One second. Okay. Oh, oh no, the Luke Skywalker. Yeah. 
Yeah, I have the, you know, he's yeah. in his uh, X-Wing, so. Yeah. And then did you bring the uh, uh, s- speeder? speeders? Yeah. Uh, the speeder I have. Yeah, I have everything. Yeah. Um, the X-Wing, uh, sorry, not the X-Wing, the TIE Fighter. Nice. Yeah, you got some, so, you got some cool shit. Gotta there. Pu- I got to put them up there, but they are high. I was thinking I'll put some lights or something up there because I want to put lights on these Around. things. Yeah. And then I can eventually turn off, you know, be like you, be super sick where you got like the contrast. Like, oh, I'm in your face because I'm sick and focus on me only, not, mm-hmm. you know, but then I turn the lights on in the back. Yeah. And I can control them from right here. It's like, <laughs> no. Yeah. Uh, Anyways. Phillips, so. hue bulbs are cool, expensive. You don't need them. Uh, RJ told me that, uh, wow, those are like four times of what you could have got on Amazon. So <laughs> don't get those. <laughs> Yeah, but I'm a brand bitch. Mm-hmm. Bitch. Yeah. Um ask him what so, you to get. There's like cheaper ones that still work on your phone. You can just put a push a button, it does the same thing. Well, I'm gonna I'll have to put like a I think they'll be battery powered or something. I don't know. I'm not gonna always have them on like you. Mm-hmm. You know? But I'm gonna have them. I got up I mean, I showed you guys the ceiling without my, you know, that's mm-hmm. all I got to work with. So probably put you know, individual lights or I don't know how I'll do it, but I'll either wire them in or lights, just do maybe. battery yeah. powered with a remote. I see them on Amazon. Mm. They have like, whatever, we'll figure it out. It's but, a vibe, baby. Yeah, dude. Or I can have them like hidden behind this wall over here. Just kind of like blast from the side, dude. Just blast everywhere. <laughs> and then you need to put on the ceiling like like space thing. Have you ever seen those lights or whatever that people <laughs> like do? For children, mm-hmm. like the night lights. Yeah. <laughs> Something like that. But I, I've even seen like YouTubers try and sell this. Like, oh man, it's cool vibe. I'm like, Kyle, you have that when you're creating your, like <laughs> your retro wave stuff. You're like, you're like you're floating in space. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just that's almost his basic kick or <laughs> just, kick and snare, but with a shit ton of reverb and it's so loud. And your wife's like, "What, like, what the, the fuck? fuck are you doing? What is that guy on? Is that um, guy on Nyquil again? Yeah, <laughs> he's he's robo tripping. <laughs> You're a thirty four year old man. He doesn't just, have a cough. What's he doing? You just get a bunch of robot doesn't. <laughs> And mix it with Dr. Uh, Pepper. You're like, yeah. Damn. Sound, that actually sounds pretty damn good. <laughs> blah, 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 Man, blah, what blah, flavor blah. is Robitussin? You know, Shitty. you grab these medicines that say cherry, mixed berry, and you're like, what the fuck kind of cherry is that? Yeah. There's it nothing. Like, it's like disgusting. I think Coracetin. I guess it's better than not being flavored. <laughs> what? Coracetin. I had like a friend who was like, I was like 23, 22. He was 19. He's like, oh, man, you got to try some Coracetin. That shit will fuck you up. I'm like, I will buy you beer. Quit doing, <laughs> stop doing that. You got to get Coracetin. That will fuck you up. I'm like, that will fuck up your <laughs> fucking nervous system or something. <laughs> like, I will buy you a fucking 12-pack of, you know, Bud Light if that's what you want. <laughs> like, quit doing that shit, you moron. It's like, oh, fuck. Well, I'm still Here's gonna get 20. that. I'm still gonna get that too. <laughs> <laughs> if I can get Bud Light and that, damn, mix them up. Oh fuck. <laughs> uh, so, uh, anyways, I guess the last update or upgrade yeah. I did, um, which you guys can't see, which looks really. I mean, it's not amazing, but I have the carpet on the back. Or it's called a rug. Mm-hmm. Don't say carpet. The rug on the back wall, which is like perfect fit. Yeah. Like, it was the perfect fit. Yeah. Like, it goes from corner to corner, ceiling to floor, and it's, like, perfect. So, it's probably 8 by 10? I don't even know. 9 by 12? I mean, I never measured it. I was like, let's just throw this up. I'm like, what the hell? The hell? What the hell? Um, (laughs) So, this one is the rug from the garage that I had back in in San Diego. Mm -hmm. And the blue one that I had the guitars actually mounted to. Before yep. I got this one, which, whatever. I don't know. The blue looks cooler, but I think this one's better because it doesn't distract from the guitars, whatever. Yeah. It's like, oh, look at these work, works of art. Look at this yeah. shitty PV Predator. This Chris Hansen signature. <laughs> um, 
It'd be great if I got have a Chris seat. Hansen to sign this. Have a seat. <laughs> it's the have a seat model. Um, uh, <laughs> sweet tea, and he's still pouring sweet tea. He's like, I don't know what's going on. I'm like, you're about to get fucked over, dude. <laughs> you're, about <to> get fucked. <laughs> you're going to prison for a long time, dude. You're fucking pervert. Ah. <laughs> uh, it's not really anything to laugh about, but well, I mean, I yeah, mean, is it? A, I mean, is entertainment? Why they put it on TV? I mean, that's kind of just why. so I could be like, oh, damn. I mean, 60, 60 minutes is entertaining when they're talking about like, you know, genocides and stuff. You're like, wow, that's informational. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> you watch it, <laughs> yeah, right. just give them a thumbs up. <laughs> yeah, no, you don't. Yeah, you have no input on it. It's like, uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. Oh fuck, that's yeah. a good one. That's a good one too. Um, so, anyways, I had the rug. It's uh, I think because it it lived its whole life like you know laterally or like horizontally, and uh-huh. I've changed it to put vertically. Yeah, and it's like it doesn't sit flat on the wall. I only I literally only put like four screws in just to hold it up, and so that's probably another reason why I'm not really worried about it since it's not in shot, it's not in frame. Yeah, so but it probably helps with like. Reflections yeah. in the room. Reflections between the two walls actually probably will do a lot. And then I, I do have some of that foam, which I don't know where I'm going to really put it. I don't really want to show that off, but I probably put it on the ceiling itself. But yeah. It already has like the the popcorn, yeah. but I'm sure it's been painted <laughs> over so it doesn't have any acoustic properties. I don't properties. think it would at all. You just take a if it's just... not painted, it does. But if it's mm-hmm. painted like 40 times, especially with like... Uh, semi-gloss paint Mm -hmm. you know it does nothing Mm -hmm. so anyways that is my what's new jesus christ finally made it through hit the clock punch out (laughs) i'm out of here Uh, all right bye guys so i did what do you got i i I, like i'm already jumping ahead he never asked me but i'm already ready dude i bought a plug-in from uh oh jesus all these companies are doing summer sales Fourth of July sales, four hundred percent off. And they got you. you they, saved, they got me. They hooked me. It was fucking. You saved twelve thousand dollars. <laughs> you audio <Only> five dollars. <laughs> <laughs> you audio hooked me. They got me on a fucking cheek there and reeled me in. And uh, yeah, they they got a big a big one there. It was big uh, bitch. Yeah. So I mean, it was uh, Mark. Should be your name. Yeah, walking. Fuck, <laughs> yeah, yeah, walking. Far, uh, fucking. Got mark. a mark here. <laughs> yeah, more. Uh, so <laughs> it was a uh, UAD. Got, gave me. Uh, gave me a uh, the deal of the century here. <laughs> yeah, that's like I could every, probably, I, I honestly every could email they send you probably get it in like uh, December. But <laughs> it was the <laughs> Capital Chambers Reverb that I got. I think I got it for oh. ninety nine dollars, which is still a lot of money. Okay, but for you, sound like let me tell you here. Do those yeah. only work with? I know we've probably yes, talked about. Yes, it. yes. So, um, so the Capital Chambers Reverb, and I think it was normally they're like hundred ninety nine dollars. Got it for ninety nine bucks, and uh, hold on, plead my case here. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> it's the UAD half yearly sale. Yeah. Save up to sixty percent off. Is it still going? Is it still going on? <laughs> yeah, uh, till uh, seven fifteen. So okay, when this drops, it will be Done. over. Oh, so, that'll be the day of the day so. of. So go get the capital chambers. <laughs> so okay, it's it's great. What's cool? Wait, about don't you- buy it though if you don't have UA audio gear. Yeah, if you don't have, um, I think. Actually, now you can use the plugins without. Oh, I think they just started that. So it's Spark. I think it's called Sparks. Um, if you don't Sounds have like a stripper's name, but okay. yeah. Um, so I think I think it's called Spark or something like that. You can use if you download that, then you can use these plugins without any of the hardware. But cool thing about the hardware is it runs off of the memory and DSP off of your interface, which we'll get to. So anyways, the Capital Chambers is, you know, what's cool about it is, uh, I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm like, it's good, Kyle, believe me. <laughs> I is it Volt? Good. No, I am using the Apollo mm-hmm. Twin and then, okay. but Volt is a different, 
um, it's a different system. Interface. I see it. Gotcha. So through what, analog tone, mm-hmm. I get it. Okay. So what's cool about uh, UA plugins? You it can is try UAD the... Spark, by the way. Yeah. Just so you know. So I was Sorry, right. cutting you off, but <laughs> I'm I'm like uh, you know, I'm the fact checker here. Oh mm-hmm. uh, yes, uh, that is the UAD Spark. Keep going. Sorry. Um. So, what's cool about the plugins? You can try them out for seven days before, you know, buying them. So you can use them. You can mix with them. You can actually use them to record into blah 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 all that stuff for seven days. You get a trial, and so <clears throat> I um tried out this plugin because I kind of always wanted to, and I was like, I know. Basically, I I, I knew Adam uh, from Justin Je- blah, 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 blah. Adam from Justin Case. I was recording his vocals. And he always likes to have reverb on his track when he records it. But, I mean, obviously you don't want to have that printed, right? Yeah. So I'm like, okay, well, I had an included plug-in in in Universal Audio. It's like, hey, you bought this interface. Here's a reverb. (laughs) It wasn't really the best or easy to dial in, but I knew the Capital Chambers was... Pretty easy and great. So I'm like, he was here. He wasn't super satisfied with the free one that I had. I'm like, eh, let me try the demo. And all you do is click start demo, and here we go. And it's just a full fledged thing that you can use and record to and whatever, and use it like a plug, like full on plugin for seven days. So what's cool about the hardware, like the twin or the Volt that you had mentioned. Yeah. So the Apollo stuff. Um, you can use the plugin to record just what you're hearing. So kind of your, um, you know, uh, you know, the, your, your out moni- audio, your, basically your monitor track. So what there you're you hearing, you're you can put plugins and shit on. And then what's actually going into your interface to your DAW can be just the raw dry. track, raw yeah. dry track, which is most of the time what you want. And then, um, so for reverb, I'm like, that sounds great. So it helps his performance because it's what he wants. But what I want and what, you know, Brian wants for mixing is the dry track. Yeah. So cool. But you can also do it the other way too. If you wanted to use, you know, compressors, EQ, and shit like that, and then not have to worry about, like, like, hey, I'm committing to this. So kind of like how you would put a DI guitar through an amp and or, yep. or Axe FX, and we're printing to this. That's It's kind of like that approach. Yeah. Which, at the moment, th- I'm not doing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, I think you could... You, okay, so I don't think I know... You can do this on reverb. Sorry, uh, reason. God, uh, idiot. Reason. You can do that also, where basically you have a dry track coming in. It's affected, and you're hearing the affected sound to your, um, you know, your headphones, your monitor. Mm-hmm. But you could literally just get rid of all that stuff and have nothing and start over again. But what you're concerned about is literally that dry track. You know? Well, what I'm concerned about is the delay. Yeah. So. Uh, which I'm assuming you're doing now, you're monitoring out of your focus right, not out of your DAW. So your vocals um, are going through your just the focus right and going to straight to your ears. You should. Um, it, it should be because it's going through Zoom. Yeah, so it's taking the... Yeah, because I actually have the monitor turned off through the DAW. So I'm getting your audio, my audio, which is basically... Coming off of, I'll have to look at the focus right, but so you should be getting my vocals on, on Zoom coming to your focus right, and yeah. then you should be getting your own vocals going to your focus right, and then yeah. both of those are coming to you. Whereas yeah. you know, you're having I'm, it go through the actual if I was uh, U, UAD, yeah, if I was going to go through Pro Tools to hear me, I would be hearing it a uh. I'm like just slurring, blah, 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 blah. 
<laughs> if I was going to go th- monitor through Pro Tools, there's a delay. Yeah. Do you remember when we would use the Mbox? Sometimes you would yeah. hear a delay. That's yeah. what that is because we didn't have Hated direct that. monitoring. Yeah. Now with Focusrite and Apollo, we do. So I never, <laughs> I never monitor through Pro Tools. I always just mute it. And even before we recorded, I didn't mute your track. Oh, jeez. And it was just like, and I'm like, fuck. I like had like a moment where I just like stared. What's going on in my <laughs> because head? Because it was feeding back. And so now, <laughs> and like, yeah, Chewbacca. And um, yeah. So um, for all of the faults of the UAD, I don't think there really are many. It was more user faults that it had uh the plugins are really really good and you know they're expensive but not you know i guess per plugin you know yeah they're not that expensive i was looking at the pricing even without the sale mm -hmm. they're not that bad i mean i guess but it's the whole like you're saving 60 percent yeah 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 Okay. So like I mean, compared to like Waves plugin, yeah, they're yeah. <laughs> more expensive, but I would say com- Waves to me almost seems like user created content. <laughs> so <laughs> it's like, who made this? It's like the yeah. graphic looks like shit, like the the actual interface you're working with. I'm like, all right, well, all <laughs> well right. I was you make say- that in MS Paint, like what the hell? So what the hell? It's well, like it's just fine. It's like it needs to look good, but I mean, you're trying to. It's got to look sexy at some point. You got to look like yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, that is that real shitty wood grain on I, that? You know, in that you is know, this, oh, uh, those knobs know, look so real with shadows. Windows ninety eight like, that we yeah, have fun. that we're working with. I would say is this okay. Windows Vista. Oh shit! <laughs> I would dude. say they definitely are better in some regards, like the UAD plugins, because. Okay, so let's well, say they're like major brands too. Like I see DBX, I see Fender, yeah, um, Marshall, uh, Sir. What's the? Yeah, I just saw one. Damn it, the AKG. You know, mm-hmm. they have a lot of huge, like big brands that want to make shit for them. You know, yeah. But Waves is like every you know, and obviously they can't. If someone's making it, you know, they it's not the DS or just the Esser. You know, yeah. it's like they, they, you know, they play, do a little play on words like you do with, uh, well, and then the, was it, no, what's the brand? What's the guitar thing you have? Guitar thing. The, uh, modeler you have, um, Axe fractal. Axe. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. They do that too. Like this isn't a, this is blues a driver. S- it's the 50. jazz, uh, yeah. <laughs> they pick yeah, yeah, a different yeah. thing. The, ba- the bass guy instead of the bass man. Yeah, they think of bass guy. <laughs> and then, yeah. Whereas, you know, um, uh, okay, so to compare a plug-in, so we have done an episode before where a guest didn't have the best sounding audio and it was yeah. pretty noisy. Not just like a noise gate could keep that thing going. It was just like... <sighs> Oh whole, my god! And then the person would talk, and it'd be like, <sighs> like they were in a train station. And I'm like, okay. So I was like, fuck. <sighs> so what I could do was use a not a noise gate, but like a noise um, fence, you know, denoise plugin kind of thing. So it, where it you actually sample the noise, and it takes that out. Come on, sample the noise. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and <laughs> Wave, I bought a Waves one. It was like 20 bucks because like every fucking Waves plugin is 20 bucks all the time. <laughs> they always have a fucking No, no. Sale. They're $60, but they're no. always $20. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they always have a fucking sale. <laughs> um, so. <laughs> I don't know. Fucking get fifty nine ninety nine, but it's always, always on sale. Always nineteen ninety nine. <laughs> so they have like I think it's called D noise is what what it is. Come on, <laughs> D noise instead of D Schneider. Oh, it's noise. D noise. Yeah, D oh. noise. <laughs> <laughs> um, so it it's a great plugin, but the thing is with that it actually is it takes time to process the sound. So if you're processing a, you know, 
a long wave like a podcast, it is taking time. And so you're almost like a full second off. Oh, Jesus. So from what your wave is showing to what is being played, it's almost a full second or more off. I'm like, that's not the best. Yeah, it's not, it's not a work. So what you could do a workaround is to process the whole fucking waveform, which is could be an hour long, and then you you print it, and then you scoot it over to match the actual one. Yeah. Which is not that big of a deal. It's a bitch. But- there's it's just a, in real time, it doesn't work. In but. real time, there is a, a plugin that I did a seven day trial on for U Audio. I can just drop it in like a real plugin. It worked. Hell yeah. I think because it's processing and using the Apollo's, you know, have a quad core in here, it's using the, it's It's four. <laughs> um, so it's using, you know, one of the chips, <laughs> the microchips, <laughs> one of the chips. I don't know. It's, it's one doing, of the cores. Yeah. It's doing this it faster. Core's all mine. It's doing it faster than the waves one. So that was a real actual test between two plugins. Like I bought the waves one. I tested out and tried the Apollo or UAD one and it worked better in real time. So I don't know. Sometimes. I, I'm not going to like, you know, wave a flag or whatever for Universal Audio, but like, they make some good stuff. <laughs> Why don't you nut up or shut up and buy like all of their pedals? Do it. <laughs> I'm not going to. All pedals, six of their. Pedals I or, can fuck off with, but their plugins I'll I'll fuck on with. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like them. They're great. So They I make a tube amp too. You have to get all of that and the tube amp. I I mean I would like some U audio hardware for sure, not pedals or like amp top box, whatever the hell that is. Oh, the aux thing. Nah, I'm straight. I'm good. Aux amp. I guess it's not tube amp, but it's. I would so much rather get a two notes. Uh, the fuck is this thing called? The captor, captor or something. Captor X. X. Yep. I'd so How much did rather... I know that and you didn't? Because you just yeah. slip in. <laughs> slip in. I'd so much rather get one of those because I'm like. I'm still in the mindset that I'm like, my third party IRs, I love them. I'm like, ML Sound Labs, I'm like, every time they put out a new cab pack, I'm like, oh, fuck. I should oh. buy, I should, oh. I'm like, <laughs> behind the tree, I'm like, ooh, fuck, I should buy another one. <laughs> yeah, yeah you, you, what you need actually is the XP8. You need to just ditch that stupid bitch ass twin you need mm. to get the xp8 yeah dude. the full the full on deal there but Come anyways in, man <laughs> so i got that and then um yeah i'm i'm super stoked on that plugin and i you know i used it on some recordings and i'm like it's great and i kind of justify it that i'm like oh it's great for vocals it's even really good for acoustic guitar to make a, a, an acoustic because this room is is you know Desolate, one man. not big and I'm trying to make it dead and desolate <laughs> um because I don't want super reflections in here there's not a whole lot and I think it's just a little bit bigger than yours but it's a small room right I think yeah. you guys don't let the wide uh, angle fool your you your room is bigger no your room is definitely bigger yeah but it's not it's not a whole lot you know it's not like it's fucking no it's not know, a freaking <laughs> chamber fucking, fucking warehouse <laughs> <laughs> yeah. no dude it's like a fucking hanger in there yeah you can, you can park your fucking uh, your whole for, for the good year blimp dude yeah. that's where they store that shit yeah but it's you know anyway so it's like for acoustic guitar it's great because i'm like oh you can get you can close mic your acoustic and then maybe put like a a, a mic that's like far away with yeah. like maybe you know four or five feet away as your room mic and then throw that um, chamber uh, plug-in for, you know, room reverb, and then you can get it to sound bigger, and you just kind of mix it in. Yeah. So, and then for vocals, it sounds awesome, because it's more natural room reverb than, like, let's throw a fucking, like, spacey kind of reverb on there. <laughs> it's like, let's no. Let's fuck this whole mix-up, yeah. you know? <laughs> let's fuck up the whole <laughs> performance. Let's just... Like, uh, I, I want to have no definition on any of this. Uh, can you just uh, reflect it all around the fucking room? Yeah. Turn that mix all the way up on that reverb. Let's not hear anything. 
Yeah, so it's uh, bingo. It, I don't know. They got me. They got me. Hey, hey, I had a question though. Yeah, well, I thought they made like uh, a like something that could go into your computer, like an actual chip, like yes. an actual. Like, I don't uh, see any of that stuff on their website. Maybe they uh, moved away from it. It was a Thunderbolt, I think, oh. port that you could put onto your like a card, P- yeah, like a PCI card. Like, yeah, and it had like. Like its own processing, like yeah. its own core, mm-hmm. like uh, core, like eight core. Yeah, and then you could put. That I remember into people your... selling those, but yeah, I don't see I them don't, anymore. Uh, if they don't have them anymore, that was one thing. I'm like, put that into your tower, dude, and that way you can get you know all the UA plugins. Yeah, you can Damn. also get just like it's like a little, it's like a little box, like it's called a satellite. And it has the processing and shit in it. You put it through Thunderbolt, and you can. I don't know get all the plugins, but also the spark. I think you don't need any of the hardware anymore. What I think is interesting about, uh, UA is that they have a lot of plugins, right? And there are a lot of big brands, but they also, they actually make things you can hold in your hands too. Yeah. Which not a lot of companies do both of those. They do either, you know, they make the shit or they make the shit to go in it, you know, but they, these guys make everything. It looks, mm-hmm. it looks like some of these plugins are from outside sources, right? But they have their own, I'm sure. Well, yeah, there's um, the the compressors the, and shit like that. Was it the, yeah. the was it 410? L, mm, I don't know. I didn't, no, they, I'm looking at everything on here. But um, what's cool is they have like their analog hardware, the LA2As. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. LA610s. I mean, they have all these like, you know, limiters and process, you know, whatever this shit is. I don't fucking know. Dude, I don't know. Mm-hmm. Looks like a compressor to me. Oh, it peak, re- like, peak like, reduction gain. Yeah, that's the eleven seventy six. I'm like, I don't know, it was like, Teletronics four, four ten. Blah blah blah. Yeah, so they make the Teletronics, the LA two A, which yeah. is a classic compressor. It's like, I'm like, I'm looking on Sweetwater. It is like the that compared w- or not compared that you know combined with the eleven seventy six. That's the like vocal chain. It's like for everybody, yeah, yeah, for just, all that or, shit. Or, no, no, just like hey, throw those two, two together, and it's like a SM7. It's like it's gonna be pretty fucking good, and yeah, you probably don't need much more unless yeah. you want to get another fucking microphone just to fuck around with. Yeah. Like, I, like I really do like the SM7B. <laughs> it's a great mic. I'm like for podcasting and for singing. I'm like these are fucking awesome. Anyways, yeah. but um. Yeah, so it's the 1176 is the universal audio, like, you know, compress, you know, compressor that's like, it's like one of the ones. I know uh, Warm Audio makes theirs WA76, which is their, you know, you know, take on that one, but it's, it's a classic compressor. I'm sure a lot of your, you know, some of your um, shit in Reason is modeling based on yeah yeah which i'm like yeah that's Definitely. uh nothing wrong with that <laughs> and yeah so i don't know something with u a d i don't know i mean they people say like they they just their plugins are pretty fucking great even though they make the hardware version of it i'm like why did they put so much time into this <laughs> it's like yeah you're taking away from the hardware version of this i'm like but there's still all those people that can tell the difference, uh, know the difference, and don't care about the difference. They want the real thing. Yeah. You know, it's like, it sounds like too much to deal with if you have the hardware version. I think to like run, I'd be worried about just breaking, you know? Mm-hmm. It's like, who well, are you going to send it back in to get it serviced or what? Buy yeah, another one? People, people do. I saw... Even uh, Colt Caparoon, he's a YouTuber I really like. He's a studio guy. He was uh, taking apart his 1176 because he's like, these fucking lights on the little dial, they go out. And so he shows him ripping the thing apart. And he's like, I got my coffee, though. Fucking <laughs> doing this at fucking before a fucking session at 7 in the morning. There's a link in the description uh, to my coffee company. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Check them out, check them out, check them out. Check yeah, them out, yeah. So, uh, it's all right. Yeah, it's it's a you know, it's like um, 
having amps versus plugins. You know, yeah. or I would say, or maybe amps versus like a Helix. You could tell the difference, but yeah, you know, at the end of the day, it's not really. It's kind of like splitting hairs. Yeah, you know? having There's a lot of good shit out there. Having the amp in the room of like your PV is fucking rad, but you could probably plug into, you know, some plugins, yeah. and you're like, actually, that's actually yeah, actually pretty good. <laughs> Sounds pretty good to me. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, I still recorded the song easier than I would than mic in this goddamn thing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I got, that's another thing. I got to figure out how to mic. Yeah. You don't have a 57 out there, right? No, I do. I do. Yeah, get get that going. You should try that next. I should get a, what is that, amp clamp or whatever. Maybe just get a stand. I don't care. I just get a stand. It's fucking easier. It's. If you get the amp clamp, you're going to have to always, like, deal with, I don't know, having it set up in the right way. And actually, in some ways, I heard that it ha- adds, like, vibrations because it's, like, the cab shaking. Oh, yeah. And I'm like, I don't think that would Cares. be that much of a difference. But it's like, just put a little kick drum stand. Like that bad boy. Right. You, you don't really crank up that loud in there, right? No. <laughs> well, I mean, I crank other things in here, yeah. Yeah. But <laughs> Come on. I can just keep that quiet. Noise. <laughs> Come, Come on. Whatever. Come on. Rock your boys. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how did, yeah, we never even got to the topic. I think we're yeah. done. I think we uh, can push that. Push it next week. You know, it's my birthday tomorrow. So um, we're doing the topic. So we, we got, you know, a, you know, a couple, yeah. couple of drinks in. Get fucking yeah. rowdy. Yeah, I'm celebrating. But yeah, yeah. I was drinking. Uh, this is my second one, but it's a hazy Join. IPA, the Desert Mirage from. I guess it's. I don't know. I'm confused. Desert Mirage is up here, but then it's oh. also the Tex Hex from yeah. Shiner. Yeah, Shiner, a <laughs> Texas yeah. beer. You see, just like it's Tex, and you're like, yes, that's me. Yes, that's the state I'm in. You see Tex Avery? I'm like, I love all of these cartoons. <laughs> <laughs> they were all done in Texas? <laughs> all right. Well, we had a topic, yeah. but let's uh, save it for next week. Yeah, I think we do that. All right, we had a lot of gear on the What's News. We had some yeah. riff in there. We talked know. about your plugins, apparently. Yes. I don't know what you're okay. plugging into, but, you know. I got something for you, pal. Plug in, plug out? I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what you got? Keep it going. Keep it going. <laughs> you're like, hey, you're, you're hanging me. Let me hang out here <laughs> too long. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get on out of here. Just want to say thank you for tuning into the Tone Jerks podcast. Uh, you know, a little different episode here. All what's news? Oops, not really. All what's we news? Do, yeah, we fucking do that all the time. What are yeah, you talking no. about? We should do just next time. We should do brass tacks. Just get all all topics. Know what's new? Hello, Brian. Did you bring a topic today? Yes, I did. Hello, let's only talk about gear, please. Let's only talk about what's news <laughs> and ads. Okay. No, uh, it's kidding. ads and... <laughs> <laughs> uh, there, there's, yeah. a, there's a podcast that I started listening. I told you about uh, Remember the Game. And yeah. somebody left a comment of like... And he, he does his best to be like, okay, I'll... He covers a video game, like a retro game with him yeah. and his friend. He, they cover it. But he's like, you know, I have an intro because he's like talks about his community, talks about like a couple games or like whatever that he talks about with whatever involving video games. And then it's like, but you can cut to 43 minutes and two seconds if you only want to listen to Final Fantasy VII. And then people are like, this asshole talks way too long before he gets to the video game part of what <laughs> your the title is. For this video, you should do that. Like, if you wanted the topic, and just have it at the very end. So they click it, and it goes <laughs> all the way. It just goes right to the Patreon read. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the plug for Patreon. Here's the meat and potatoes of the episode. Yeah. Anyway, Andrew was, Walsh, man, yeah, just out. Funny. He's like, I. I mean, he's like, I warned them in the beginning of the episode, and then it's like, I listened. He to still complained. <laughs> I listened to 140 episodes of this podcast, and fuck this guy. It's like it took you 140 weeks to figure out that you hate me. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's uh, yeah, it's a ruse. It could you know, be a put on. Obviously, it's, it's, it's pretty good. Anyways, just want to say, just want to thank, just want to say thank you. I want to thank, thank. 
<laughs> I just want to say thank you for tuning into the Tone Jerks podcast. If you like what you hear, you can follow along on social media. We have a Facebook group at the, you know, or actually, no, no, no. Facebook group linked in the description. And then we have an Instagram at the Tone Jerks. We're yeah. posting, uh, was, was that your reverse burp or mine? No, that was definitely yours. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm trying to blame it on you. <laughs> Brian, it smells like farts in here, Brian. What are you doing? Yeah, we're in a different state. <laughs> Is me? <laughs> Brian's... Oh, man. Come on. <laughs> oh, man. There's piss all over the floor, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> Brian, why did you piss my pants? <laughs> <laughs> all right. Keep going. Keep going. That's we're almost out silly. of here. We're almost out of here. <laughs> <laughs> so, if you like this, <laughs> you, can bullshit. Help su- you can help support the show. I don't know. I think we're having fun here, but yeah, uh, it's, it's you, right. you can um, help support it on Patreon for as little as one dollar a month. But if you double down for two bucks a month, you get an extra episode every week. And just for the support, you know, uh, we wanted to give y'all a huge shout out, a sizable acknowledgement. Kyle, you got a list over there. Oh yeah. Why don't you give it to me, baby? Baby. <laughs> <laughs> I have uh, it wasn't a burp by the way. I have Andrew Walsh from Andrew's Alcove. Second, I got to he, he gotta, I read his name twice already. Mm-hmm. All right. He sh- he deserves it by the yeah. way. Uh <laughs> second, he's also from the Second Button podcast, the Seinfeld listen along, watch along that Brian does also with him, oh, yeah. but I think Andrew does a way better job. Andrew's the host, I'm the I'm the yeah. you know, the foil. You're the, <laughs> I, I, I'm I'm his Newman to his Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got uh, Abe Newman, Michael Newman, Nicholas Payson, Nicholas Ogburn, Doug King, Doug Chris from 37 FX, Masters of the Cinematic Universe, and also the Just Surprise Me podcast. We got uh, Joe from Masters of the Cinematic Universe, and also the Just Surprise Me podcast. Also the Texas Boggle State Texas State Boggle Champs yeah, and I, Texas Size 10-4. Mm-hmm. Dude loves Texas, but yeah. apparently he's in <laughs> yeah, fucking Florida. Florida. So, Come on. Come correct. He has a, <laughs> Just, he has a uh, fixation about Texas. But you know who's in Texas? This guy. <laughs> this motherfucker. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> go ahead. Yeah, go I was going to say, I, I, had? I, um, I joined the Patreon for that video game podcast. and Yeah. I heard my name and I was like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> there, Everyone's heard my name. Yeah. <laughs> Did you say, can you, can you put what you're from or no? Yeah. I, he said like, we got Brian from the Tone Jerks podcast. And he's nice, like, dude. I'm like, woo. <laughs> we're por- we're going to have so much people pouring in. You know? <laughs> but I was just like, oh, I don't know. I think people, I don't know. I think people like these, the name reads and stuff like that. Yeah. No, that's right. But I, I'm I like, think cause they, I, yeah. I do. <laughs> Uh, or sorry, sorry, we got Joe. We are read Joe's name. Yeah, you got but Joe. he's from a bunch of podcasts. Yeah, and then um, we got Will Lahew from the Just Surprise Me podcast. Also, the uh, he's got a side project or a project called Energy Weapon. Check it out on yes, you got a Spotify release and with Kyle's band or Kyle's group. Yeah, so we did a we did a dual release, dual I guess. debut. So yeah, like I said, which I'll, is great. I'm link, stoked on that. Link that, the Spotify in the podcast. Yeah, we, uh, we'll post the song, I guess. that. Uh, yeah, you should post it in the group. Yeah, we'll do that. Definitely. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. We got Tony DeGraw. Raise hail, praise Dale. You know what I'm saying, Tony? Uh, from the Signal Path podcast. That's his uh, baby. Mm-hmm. He's also Texas State Boggle Champs and uh, Texas Size 10-4. Another guy. He's not in Texas. But he loves Texas. We welcome you with uh, loving arms here in Texas. On behalf of the whole state, we have uh, Teletox, RJ Smith. We have Jamie Davis, Johnny Ray, Jason Fuzzmonger, Steve Rao from 60 Cycle Hum, Kevin Equits from Equits Guitars, Co Schneider from the band Night Tides, Alvaro Viramontes, Brian Nutter of Nutter Guitars. Mel Chibson of Chibson Guitars. Sean Arbo from Gun Street Wiring Shop. I think he's got a little secret up his sleeve coming up soon, maybe. He's going to be making some stuff. But, you know, we'll keep really? you updated whenever that drops. Well, we'll see. fucking tell me anything. Yeah, well, you don't 
fucking annoy the shit out of him like I do. Hey, 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 hey. Yeah, that's what I do. So. <laughs> hey, bro. Hey, listen. Hey. I'm not your bro, bro. Yeah. Um. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I'm like, I have, I'm on Rocket League. He wants to play with me. We can be bros. Your trial's up, dude, yeah. on Rocket League. <laughs> I just, I, I, for me, it's more like suck cock at League. <laughs> <Just> <laughs> terrible at that game. Damn. You'll get you know, you'll get better. I suck at that game. Dude, I've had the worst losing streak ever. Yeah. I don't think it's I've just, ever. I, I, I just suck. I don't think I'm good recently at, just sucked. I'm good at any video games. Maybe it's just summer and all like, you know, the kids that, you know, from junior all the way down to like fifth grade are out of class and so they're, they're just like they can actually like crushing. They, yeah. Like we're staying up pe- past 10 motherfucker. And you're like, Kyle, <laughs> you're like, bah, 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 bah. Just get blitzed. <laughs> just get <annihilated. laughs> Getting scored on like a motherfucker. Look here. Uh, the future we, is now, old man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here to take the helm. Thanks for watching it for me. Uh, <laughs> Sean Fahey from Shadowhounds. Sean Wright from Lollygagger Effects. Juan Ortiz from Tone Hungry Effects. Mike Oxbig. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Huge erection. <laughs> and uh, you to fucking cock. Uh, Zach Hale, <laughs> Eric Merrow from YouTube. Check out his channel there. Uh, Scott Hamilton from the Effects Loop Podcast. Check out his podcast. Uh, Tim <laughs> Nowak from Bardic Audio Devices. Check out his stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, yeah. I was I was this close to being on Effects Loop this week. Come on, I was, man. I don't know. And then I had I had to fucking work, and then I told Scott I couldn't quit my job. <laughs> <laughs> and then he blocked sorry. me. <laughs> I tried. Yeah, I tried he to quit bl- my job to go I'm on your sorry, show. I couldn't bl- quit my job. And he blocked me. <laughs> yeah, he blocked, says dude. you're dead to me. <laughs> dead. Yeah. Oh, I'm surprised he's still paying for a Patreon though. He must love me then. Yeah. All right. Uh, b- <laughs> Bardic audio devices. I read. Uh, it's Tim Noak there. Yeah. Check out his stuff. I think. Uh, where does he? Pu- does he have a website? Or is he on Reverb or what? I don't think we've ever plugged. He, his no, Reverb he's got a website. Site. Uh, okay. Check him out. I'm sure. Unique name, so you'll be able to find them. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't have the website in my hand or on my computer. Well, I have it on my computer, but I don't have it in front of me. Did your out. screen go blank? Is that why you're r- ramping <laughs> or vamping? <laughs> no, it's, my screen is working. Uh, we have Tyler Rines from Tyler Casey Riffs on Instagram. <laughs> Matthew Fenslaw said his name right. I won't get lit up this time. <laughs> he just sends me like a bunch of fucking f- cuss words. <laughs> fuck you, fuck you, bad. No oh, spaces. <laughs> Whatever. All caps. I'll, I'll kill you. I'll kill all of you. <laughs> <laughs> just me. And you're just like, <laughs> I'll kill that whole town you live in. 6,000 people. Now you're all like, right. <laughs> come and take it. <laughs> <laughs> it's like to see you try. Uh, Michael McVeigh. Yeah. And Matthew Davis. And that is the list. <laughs> I think we're done. All Damn. right. This was a fun one. Yeah, yeah it's we'll probably, just, probably just fun for us. <laughs> yeah. All right, Sorry, we'll, everyone else. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. All right. Bye.